Hello my friends, here we are back in Luminar Neo and today we are doing selective color black and whites. Um, I'll have to admit this is not something I do very often, but uh, sometimes it's fun to just play with it. So let's see what we can do. First, we will go into black and white and convert to black and white. And now we just have a black and white image. We have to adjust the colors a little bit to just make it look a little, a little bit better. So what am I going to do? Let's see, the yellows is this foreground. I'm going to darken it maybe a little bit. Let's see. Oh no, that's affecting her face. I'm going to maybe brighten it, but not too much. Just a little bit. Greens, we're darkening those bushes behind. I'm going to pull that out. Cyan is the mountains behind. I'm going to pull those down. Blues. Same thing in the background, I'm going to pull them down. Magenta. The magentas are only the flowers in her basket, and I think I like them when they're brighter, so I'm going to brighten it. All right, now we're going to apply a crop. And for this image, I will go with a 4 by 5 Let's try that. And just like the way it is right now, like that. All right. Then I want to darken a little bit in the foreground and the left side of the tree. I wanted to leave the right side of the tree uh, bright because the light is coming from the right side and it kind of hits that tree. So I'm going to take the exposure down to maybe that. And then with the brush, I will paint it, big brush, I'll paint it on the left side of the tree and a little bit here in the foreground just to get a little bit of separation. And that looks better. So let's see so far, we went from that to that. So how do we get that splash of color? Well, we will go to our edit, to the black and white, and I'm going to take an eraser tool. I'm going to zoom in 100% and move over to the hat. I know the hat is red, so I know that. And when I select something, when I mask something and I want a pretty clear, sharp edge, I don't want to go straight uh, softness. I don't want to go softness to 100% that's soft, but I don't want to go um, zero because that's really, really harsh. I find like the happy medium, it's maybe around 15, 20%. So I'm going to go with 19% for this one. And I am going to erase, I'm going to make my brush small. And I'm just going to erase it on the hat. I'm going to go on the edges first. And I wasn't very careful over there, but we'll fix that in a second. I should probably do this with my uh, pen, not with the mouse, but I'm doing it with the mouse now. Not as easy. All right, so I'm going to go over the edges carefully, as careful as I can. You can always go with the brush and, you know, paint it in later. So now I can make it bigger and now I can paint without having to worry too much about the edge because I already did the edge. Let's see. Make my brush smaller. All right, you get the idea. Let's zoom back out. And now we have a splash of color. Do we need to do anything else? Let's see. We can go back to tools. Uh, maybe we can go to structure and add a little bit of structure. And maybe we can go to develop and take our blacks a little bit down just to create a little bit more contrast. So let's see. My luminar is being very slow today. Come on, I'll drag the blacks all the way down so see. Okay, now it's working. All right, so we'll go somewhere like that, not too dark. 
All right. And this is our edit. This is our before and after. I think it was a very pretty photo even to begin with, but I like it black and white with a splash of red. Sometimes it's fun to just play around. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It does help the channel a lot. Like it, comment. Um, and that's it for today. My name is Kyla Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.